everybody. Welcome back to Father and Son Reactions. I'm Larry, and as usual, I'm with my son Ethan. And today is Paul Thursday, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We post Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I hope everyone had a great 4th of July for all our American friends here. Mm -hmm. um, and this week, you guys voted for Super Tramp. Take the long way home. Well, how about our British friends? Do you think they enjoyed our 4th of July? No. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. Probably, no. <laughs> I remember once uh, when I was doing a bus, double-decker bus thing in England, and they were taking us around, and and the, the, the driver who's doing the tour, he says, and this is the great Patriot's house, Benedict Arnold. Oh my it god. It was so funny. Like it was a joke that they all that they yeah. out, you know, but it was just so funny. That is funny. Yeah, it was like, and here's our great patriot Benedict. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's pretty funny. Yeah. It's cool seeing the perspectives from different places. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. If you think about it, sure. He, he's regarded with that, you know, yeah. as, as a great patriot. Probably, England. yeah. Of course, he's a traitor here, but there he's <laughs> Great Patriots. Yeah, Pretty funny. That is funny. Right, let's get back to the song. I know the song. He doesn't know the song, but I'm excited for him to hear it because it's a great song. Let's get into it. I'm ready. I like the Super Tramp stuff I've heard so far, so uh, it should be ah, good. Let me relax for this one. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. I skipped to the middle by accident. I pressed something. There we go. All right. Did not mean to do that. Great songs. <laughs>
they switched back and forth between the saxophone and the harmonica in each ear like in this ear was the harmonica <laughs> and this ear was the, the saxophone that was so cool that was awesome most of the time in a song that it decides to introduce an instrument like like a saxophone or a harmonica usually they'll do one but they had both they had two cool instruments not just one well they're a very cool band apparently i mean I never bought any of their records or anything like that, you know, growing up, but I gotta tell you, the songs I know, I, I, I like very much. This was my favorite one. More than Breakfast in America, more than the Logical Song, and those two songs are great, but yeah. this one, whew, this Blue one, was, LA, huh? yeah, this one was, I think, probably my favorite one. This is great. This is a great song. I'm happy yeah. with it. I'm very happy we did it because, let me tell you, this song is, is just, it's more, it's, I don't know what it is, but it has something different than the other two songs. it's It could be the harmonica and the, the saxophone together, the use of both. The use of the harmonica was so beautiful in the song and all of that, like, the way they incorporated it into the song was just really amazing. It was. It really, really was. Like, I know there's many, you know, rock songs or whatever that use harmonica, you know, but a lot of times for an introduction or, you know, whatever, but... They made it like the one of the main instruments throughout the whole song. Period. I mean, it was just, it was great. I agree. I, love I that. loved the use of the harmonica through the song. Me really, too. Really nice. Me too. That this is a great song. Take the long way home. See now, wow. I'm to, now I'm gonna hear it thirty five times over the next 30, 24 hours. I hope that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for a song that I've already heard a thousand times in my life. Eh. But you know what? It's a great song. So, if I, see, whenever we do a song and he really likes it, he just plays it all the time. Yeah, so, I did so. it with I did it with Turbo Lover. With yeah, Judas, Judas oh, Priest. Yeah, yeah. And we just listened to it the other day in the car. You put it on. Yeah, I did. So, um, yeah. So, <laughs> you know what I should it's do? All right. You know it's what I should? All right. not, not, you know what I should do? I should make a playlist of all the songs we've ever done. Oh wow! And just shuffle it. In the car and just see what happens. That would be great. I'm that would that. take you a while to do that. I know. Well, I wouldn't do it all at once. I'd do like a good amount of songs at a time. Yeah. It would take me a couple days to make it, but all right. I'm I'm excited. Let's. I, I'm excited because you know what? We battle sometimes when we go in the car. It's like he wants to put his phone on and I want to put my phone on. You know, for music and. And, you know, I have a lot more than him, so if we put my phone on random, we hear a bunch of crap that I don't even know what it is. So, <laughs> yeah. he gets frustrated. I'm like, just skip it, dude. But we like, have if to I skip. give him the control with his phone, oh, Lord knows what we'll, what we'll hear. Um, he's in this country phase now, so, you know, he, he's putting on a lot of country music, and I just, you know, uh, some of it's okay, but... You know, so make make the the, playlist, make the playlist from the channel. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be great. Yeah, that would... The thing with your phone is we have to skip seventy percent of the songs because even you don't know. Oh, that. it's not true. Not seventy percent. Maybe thirty percent. No. A lot of it's cool stuff though that you don't know, and some of it I don't know. A because, lot you, know, that you don't know. You have well, you know what it is. You have stuff that you that. When I then when we shuffle your phone, you'll be like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah, because you, you know don't what? even know what it is, right? Well, no. You why know do what? you have it on your phone? I'll tell you why. Because I have like years and years and years ago, I when when there was i iPods, right? I used to have, and I would go, you know, my friends would give me their CDs. I put it all on my iPod, and I saved it all. And it would be like sounds of the eighties, sounds of the seventies, singers and songwriters from the sixties. And I got all that stuff on my phone. So we come across it, and I don't know what some of it is because, you know, just for that reason. But I like mm. to have a big variety, you know. Like, I have, like, someone came up uh, 
Rosetta Thorpe a couple weeks ago. You know who that is? This lady from like probably the 40s or 50s. And she was great. Like really cool. Like I didn't skip it, but you know, it was really cool. Okay. But um, yeah, so so that's why I have a lot of stuff on my phone that, that I, even I don't know what it is. But, you know, it's a big variety, and, and I enjoy having it. Okay, that's actually, that's that's nice. Yeah, so that's that's why you come across all this stuff. And another thing, he'll download on his phone music by the song. I don't. I do it by the album. I don't download just a song. If there's a song by, especially if it's a famous band, I'll just download the album thinking, all right, I'll, I'll check it out at some point. You know what I mean? Or, yeah. you know. How do you think I, I, I uh, find, like, some of these really cool songs, like, from the 70s or whatever, you know, I'll hear from the 60s, yeah. I'll introduce you from, from the phone, you know? That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'll, I'll, if I like a song, then it makes me want to listen to more of the album or more of the band. Yeah. But I just don't download the whole thing right away just because I know one song from the album. Yeah, but I don't. I uh, to be honest, I actually haven't downloaded hardly anything over the last while. Really, it's all like all the stuff on my phone's like older. Like I haven't downloaded and hardly anything in the last year or two. Maybe like Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. That was it. Okay. All right. Actually, yeah, Taylor Swift is probably the only thing I've. You know, downloaded. You know, my Apple Music or added to yeah. my thing on Apple and Music. With and, that, and with that, and with that, we're done. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift. That's it. I think like two or three albums and and maybe a, a playlist. Do you download playlists or whatever? Yeah, yeah. I think a playlist too. That's crazy. Yeah, I really like her. So, all right. That's weird, but okay. Yeah, I mean, the last album. You know, no, no, no. we're not getting into this. Right <laughs> no. No, Super Tramp is great. That and we need to we need to shift back into. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So so Super Tramp, yeah, very cool band. I love the songs. I know this song phenomenal. It is. I'm excited to hear more. You guys got to let us know in the comments what else they've got because we don't know unless you guys don't tell us. We do not know. Yeah, there are yeah. some bands we haven't done in a while. Not because we don't want to do them, but because you guys haven't told us what else to do. Right. So yeah. if you want to see Super Tramp being done again on our channel. You guys got to let us know what comes next by then, because I want to do them again. I do want to hear more, because the songs that we've done are all great. Yep. So, that's right. So, thank you all so much for voting in the poll this week and for picking this, and we will see you all in the next one. That's right. Take care, everybody.